Too many. Too many. Okay, we're going to uh, continue to stay in a minute, but uh, I thought we could just have a quick energizer. So, I'd like everybody to stand up, come over here. I'm not sitting here, but it's me. <laughs> You don't have to turn anyone's knee on this one. I'm having an inner circle, okay? And what I want you to do is um, sit your right hand into the middle. Okay, this is your right hand, okay, every camera. <laughs> what I want you to do is to lean over and get hold of the left hand, okay, of somebody else in the group, other than that one of the two people will stand on your left or your right. Okay. 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 Right. Everybody got hold now? Is everybody yeah. holding two uh -huh. hands? Okay. All we're gonna do now is to get back into a circle, okay, without letting go of the two hands you got hold of. <laughs> That's a pretty simple exercise we need. Okay. Yeah. 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 What's your way? Um, what's your way? Yeah. No, I'm in a circle, so oh. the person who whose hand you're holding there is next to you. You understand? Very good. 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 Very
It doesn't, it's not the end of the world. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 that's just wrong. That's not right. Don't start again. Okay. Right. You're all 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 right. You're no, it's not left to left, it's to right to left. 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 Right it's not. It can be. No, we're looking for a right. 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 Right.
people that. Oh, no, <laughs> not really, because I'm, that's closer than it was. Well, that's it, yeah, so that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Hmm? <laughs> 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 decision-making and working that would lead to practice assertiveness and practice meeting model and practice process skills. So I've got a, a, a version, uh, a number of people have done these sort of things where kind of uh, you're on a, a desert island or something like that. So I've got one that uh, I've used elsewhere which is uh, I think a really good one. So we're doing something called <coughs> Desert Survival at School. Okay, that's why I wanted to get you hot and sweaty because I'm trying to simulate the desert. It's all planned this stuff. There's no, uh, Okay, so right, what, what I want to do is... Back to the bake. <laughs> I was just going to say. Well, I'll give you a copy of a bit of a brief and then there's a sort of rating sheet on the back. Uh, so what I'd like to do is, if you just take one of those each, and I'd like you to spend about 10 minutes, might be a bit longer than that, to individually read the article, and then on the second sheet, list things in the order that uh, it describes on the first page. that day it's kind of blotted out slightly. Uh, Last weather report indicated the temperature would reach 130. 130. It's pretty warm. So it's the way that I've got that. The book was 52, so it was the last. It was the least important. Okay. So do you agree with, I don't oh, think I'm quite agree with that, that process of yeah. maybe yeah. coming up with an initial yeah. answer? Uh -huh. And then we can write well, out the book and discuss it. the rest of it. Well, don't make disagree over the book, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's so. not jump. Let's uh, mm -hmm. can we write up your uh, answers. Yep. Can you give, uh, give us just 
just rankings. I'll, I'll just read them out then. Yeah. Okay. Number, number one was the parachute. Oh, no, so you're so saying the, uh, the, the, the ranking for the... We didn't put it in point. Actually, yeah, no, we just did it. Okay, parachute. Number one was... Yeah, parachute. parachute. Was that not what you meant? Yeah, no, I mean, if you if just read down your list there. Yeah, like oh, right, the list. You Sorry. start at the top. Right. Sarah will start at the top. You need to tell you about right. it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I have a flashlight. Flashlight 10. Jack knife 8. Air map 5. Plastic green coat 14. Well, that's it. Roach did a blind one. I'm going to get the hand in the front of it. Shit, you're living. Revolver 13, parachute 1, salt tablet 3, water 2, the book 15, sunglasses 7, vodka 12, top coat 9, and mirror 4. So, answers 17, 17, 18. Do you think that we've got that list? I don't know the time that's a select, but the way we're marking it out. And we're 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 let's come to some format. I, I, I feel quite strong strongly Sorry. about this, but I'm going to do my Henry, Henry Fonda and try and talk everyone into <laughs> changing their mind. I really am because I don't think we're going about it the right way. I agree. Parachute. I think we and can, can I explain the, the process? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Let's get the I mean, each, each team has mm -hmm. come to a, a, an agreed answer, mm -hmm. almost, uh, on the list of items. Now, if you add, you know, if you just add the, the finger, okay. the points, you know, is giving them a point system? I like you know, it's an easy, an easy sum, you know, team one plus team two will give you a logical which you know, be better given the answer. reason why you're taking the, the marks like that. And we can get no, it. Because it's going too, too long and going around. I don't know. Uh, finish that one first. We'll finish it. Finish this first. Katrina, do you want to explain to them? Sorry, have we established who's watching the time? I don't think we've established anything. Come on. Come on. Yeah, actual structure. And then and appoint various people, just what you said at the beginning. Otherwise, we're all we're all going to achieve nothing at the end of the time. Okay. Why don't we throw it open for debate? No, we're not throwing it open for debate. We're going to process a structure. Right, surely the main thing must be the objective, and the objective will be to agree on the order of merit, as it were, for each item. Right. You're not going to date. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> the method of achievement of the objective. Only one person speaking that day. Okay. Is there anything else that MD Michael, do you feel that you should add anything? Well oh, Andy's I don't know if you Andy's already said only one person to speak at a time. Keep the discussion on track. Okay, the timekeeper. The timekeeper. The 35 minute one. Well, I can put that under time scale, can't we? Yeah. Timekeeper. Yeah. Timekeeper is just a, I think 0.5 should be allocated roles. Yeah. 
like allocate a timekeeper, allocate somebody to make sure everybody's sticking to the ground rules. Right, okay. Um, so, I'm actually pretty impressed with the Okay. Um, on setting the objective, um, what's everybody's view? I mean, does everybody agree? It should be how we uh, how we go about achieving sort of pri the priority listing. I get the impression I take away the role of the individual. That's been done completely as a group exercise, and the individual's been taken out of it. I'm quite happy to get out of this, by the way. But, I mean, that's neither here nor there. Uh, that's an observation now uh -huh. from the outside. But it's going to be done as a group yeah, exercise. It is as a group exercise, but everyone has the opportunity to contribute. Okay. Um, so going back to the first point, the objective then, everybody agrees that the, the objective of all this exercise is to decide how we get to the ranking and then if necessary explain what the rankings are. Okay. And does anybody feel strongly disagree with that or have any other view? Well, the goal is the ranking, isn't it? Goal is the ranking. In my view. Okay. Right. Time skills, timekeeper. One person speaking. Keep on track. An allocation of roles. Roles have a chairperson. Right. So I'll come into the allocation of roles. Right. Who wants to vote? Who would like to be the chairperson? To make sure we keep on track. I'll do that. <coughs> Timekeeper? I'll wait down. You and you, you want to be the illustrator? I'll go over. Okay. Right, we'll go back to the first, <laughs> first stage and um, the thing that we jumped in at, mm -hmm. uh, what I was um, suggested was we take the two point systems, uh, the two rankings we had and take an average, mathematical average between them. I think speak to the chairperson here and say I totally disagree with the decision that my group came to. Totally disagree <laughs> and I don't agree with the point of right. there. But would you like to explain how you're... Yes, I certainly would. Excellent. No, my, my team... No, there's a team consensus. Yeah, and the thing that we've got to agree on first is... That's why I say we're stifling the individual. Can we have a look and see what the writing's like? Sorry. If you can understand this, what the individual wants to achieve. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah. 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 You had up the, the figures, mm -hmm. then this is a, a ranking, you know, from that, mm -hmm. you know, as in that one's one, water's the same. Yeah. So we'll have to discuss mm -hmm. between these two, uh, give it the, the twos and fro uh, twos and fro's, wrong one, and uh, pros and cons of each one, and uh, have a vote on that idea on that selection criteria. So basically we've got uh, parachute water as one and two uh, you know, either one or two. Down to mirror. Salt. Uh, salt tablets. So you know, obviously you can see the yeah. ones there. Mm -hmm. If we write up you know, obviously that one jumps into its own cat uh, category straight away. Yeah, so we could write up a, uh, try a, a set up, uh, a, a list. I, I, can I say something? I think, uh, I'm not disagreeing with the way we're doing this, but there's still going to be room for debate. Mm -hmm. And right now we're alienating one person in the team because he totally disagrees with the way we're yeah. doing this. Yeah. And whether the other eight members in the group think it's a great idea or not, we've got to let Graham get some input into it or, or we a team with really need to one member. Right. But what one thing, and I'd like to go, th I'd go through the chairperson, instead of discussing the whole lot, can I perhaps split it into thirds and discuss that? Can we agree on that first of all? 
นั่นเราทำมาใส่โค้ชประกาศไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟไฟThat's why I don't think that's a good idea because uh, I think that's wasting the data that we've already accumulated. But then if you were taking our view, then we're excluding the other team's view. Well, no, we're taking both team's views. Why don't you tell us why you're not sure if you're very wise and how very good? Yeah. Yeah. They've got the team to do other things. So the goal is we're trying to get the, the items yeah. into... We know where to go. The fact is that you know, the don't tell us why you reached that, that number. Well, you, you want you to know how you reached that. I, I accept that you've reached that through a mathematical process, but what we had we had the scenario and like we had an agreement about what the action was going to be, that we were going to stay at the aircraft until the sun, you know, went went over. Your, your team so far hadn't said how you reached how, that. How you reached that? Like, what was your intention when you got when the after the crash? What your intention was going to be? Okay. Did you not do that? No, we didn't do that. Not particularly. We, we, did, we did after a fashion. Yeah, we did. Basically, we were going to. There was two. There was two. We broke into two kind of camps really. Myself and Alice wanted to be rescued. We were made protest to get rescued, and that's why we went for the mirror uh, first of all. Mm -hmm. And then we were going to survive, and that was why we went for water in the, in the tablets. Mm -hmm. And Katrina and Ian were basically saying, except they wanted to keep the water in the tablets first, and then and should have been your group. the mirror and things, right? <laughs> and that, so that was only a bit really disagreed, but we got from, we actually went to repair, so we went to 15 and we got down to number 4 quite easily, and it was only in the last couple, but we won there that sure, and we, we could work that out, and it was only really number 1 and 2, but we, 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 we were a bit, I feel like so you went least important first. Yeah, we found it. We found it. We were yeah, much yeah. more agreement on if it was number 15 and number 14 than yeah. we were if it was number yeah. 1 and 2. Yeah. Can, can, we 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 Sorry. can we tell you why we done it or how we done it? Yeah. Well, we, thought, we thought the first thing you were going to do once it crashed was you're going to protect yourself at the sun. So you put the parachute over it because you're not going to get anywhere between then and the midday sun coming up. You're not going to walk 70 miles. So you've got to wait till the sun passes over. So you're going to hide and protect yourself till then. So you're going to need the water and the tablets and that. You're going to use the mirror for try to put, uh, put, get any airplanes going by to attract their attention till the, the sun went down. And then once the sun goes down, you're thinking about moving. So once you start moving, you're going to take things to the night to get water out of the, the cactus. You're going to need the coats for overnight because it's, it's cold in the desert. We're not basically, we were basically along the same lines as that. Well, we didn't think we should be with you in there. We were going to be able to get this. We were going to be able to get this. But you could run out of water and tablets anyway, even if you're moving and you're expending energy. You're talking about it. We're trying to get rid of it. Sorry. We'll have to keep back on the stage. We're having... Should we try and vote? We're getting from the goal. Should we just try a straight vote? On what? Oh. On each point, or yeah. on the five points, or what? Parachute or water? Well, I should be trying most of it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's try and vote. I think maybe if Ian says if we list it, we'll see if it is here. I think it's right, and it will just give these numbers. We have similar thoughts, and now it's just so high at the point. Can I make an observation of what we've got up there? Go to your right end here. Uh huh. If you actually look at 15 down to number 10, there isn't any cut, there isn't any uh, variety about that. There's some kind of doubling up. So you could actually do it as Graham suggested. We can put the A5 out of the way and forget about them and yeah. just concentrate on number 9 down to number 1. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yep. So you've got like 15. Um, so 15, the book. Fourteen plastic main coat. Thirteen. Revolver. 
12 comp uh, compress cut. Pull the one. 11 cut. 10. <coughs> Mark. Right, we've got a main oven. That's when it starts to double up because you get yeah. two numbers. So that's his main. So, yeah. Three sevens. Flash. Nine. And. Okay. 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 Right. Yeah. I think one thing we haven't decided when we agreed to get the ground rules is uh, we came as a group intending not to stay where we were but to leave the plane. I, I won't say it was my decision, I would point that out. I would maybe should have won. But the thing is what we had to agree was that we're all to do this. So are we going to stay with the plane or are we going to leave? Point. Leave. So that's not the goal no. of the oh, yeah. exercise. The goal, is. No. the goal of the exercise is to no, see. You're not reading it. You're not reading it. The, the number of seven is the same as the number of your team. Mm -hmm. You are the actual people in the situation. The team has agreed to stick together. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, so some are going away, some are not. No, but it, I still believe before we talk about it, we have to decide what we're doing. It's pointless. If we're going to stay with the plane, we may need a different set of values. So, uh, can I say that I thought we'd agreed that the goal of the exercise was to be uh, to put that these items in the list. The ranking. 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 But you can't agree the ranking if you can't agree the process. What you're suggesting is that we, if you move, you're going to need a, a different set of values. A different set of values. values than if you were staying, which to a certain extent is true. We had agreed to, well, we had assumed that we were staying, am I right? Yeah. We didn't actually. I didn't actually, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a subject that was a, that arose because we just were at the plane and we were trying to survive until we were rescued. Mm -hmm. You can't mind nobody knows where you are, you can't stay there forever. If you stay with you are, you're going to die. You run out of water and you run out of towers. But the next day, you'll not have much left. So you've got to move during the night. Yeah. Try and get that 70 miles. You I'll walk it out of the morning, so I wouldn't move. I wouldn't move. No, you'll buy that. Don't need to worry about my mum. I've got no eyesight because I'm going to say, because I've got this. Excuse me. Andy, I'm saying. Excuse me. Andy, Yes. Sorry. 20 minutes to go. Okay. So I don't really have a lot of time. Excuse me, Bill. Okay. Hey, can I just make a point? I thought about all the items. Uh, we actually forgot as well. The items that's actually mentioned on the front as well, that were coming to the equation. Why is it mentioned? Because you were in the corner. Uh, there's not any other, but not any reason. I don't know any of other five well. Well, it's, it, these items allow you to uh, set a uh, Percentage, you know, requirement for you know, a priority. These items allow you to uh, give you a priority for, say, the water. For instance, the water. It, you've got a small amount of water each, but you've also got cacti, this edgy, which you can, you can supply in the water. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, could you, could you, could you, could you stick to the point that yeah. the task, according to the sheet that we got, was before the plane got fired, list the 15 items listed on the next page. It doesn't mention the items above. So that's what you have to prioritise. So could you please stick to the goal. point? And that right. is the goal. Right. I, I can't suggest that we finish one topic when we're on it. James brought up a point that we need to decide whether we're staying or we're moving and I think that's a pretty valid yeah, point. Yeah. Let's make a decision on that and then we can face the rest of the exercise on the decision we come to. Thank you. Okay. 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 Maybe illustrate, if we're leaving immediately, we may need the compass and the map before we need other things. If we're staying, 
perhaps campus and my yeah. campus. So does everyone get an idea whether they want to stay or leave? Why don't you take it as a vote? So all those who want to vote. stay, show their hands, and all those who want to stay. All who want to stay, show their hands, please. There's a, a third alternative to stay and then move. <laughs> so that's what you're doing. You take all the stuff. Right, stay and don't move at all, yeah. <laughs> you're allowed to vote in there. Sorry, I'm just about to hang it. Thanks, I got that one. Right. Aye. Stay, stay until right. night, and then move, yeah. at night, four. Right. So the consensus is stay. Right. So we base this on the so consensus. So can I just say that one to five, not much different time? Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. interrupted. Today one to five, then you can do five to nine between. Yeah. <coughs> okay. One. The water. Right, now there's a parachute and the water. Right, but if you're staying, you're going to cover your yeah, bit of area. Parachute's twofold. It's got two uses. One is a signal, but I'm going to sink, so it's a signal. You're staying, you're the parachute is the priority. You're, you have crashed. Don't need the water instantly. The parachute is priority. Let's cover ourselves. And uh, let's leave a signal on if there's a fine looking. Sorry, yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, I agree with what you're saying, but we're going to put this down to one to five. I'm putting these ones. Could have been them. Right. Well, we're putting them. I mean, you're putting them down. Points, my own. Would you agree that? Yeah. You're not giving me the chances. I'm not stopping you. <laughs> That's <laughs> exceptionally aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. So the next exercise. Seems to be jumping in. Yeah. I think if we want, want to speak, we can raise yeah. our arm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good suggestion. Um, as I was saying, we'll, we'll group them and then discuss which which one. Right, so number three is the mirror. Uh, mirror up. I don't agree with what you're doing here. Never, never dying. Right, what, what's your... What well, you're not giving me a chance. I, I wouldn't have put the mirror number three. It's more or less what you've got. We've decided the last five are clear cut because they are the last five. But it's within the first five. But you've got any exception to the last five, but I've got an exception to it. But the rest of them, now that we've decided... That's within the first five, are we? It's within the first five. It doesn't matter where it's first five. Aye. What Ian was doing was writing the first five up there. He's already said the minus number. These don't have to be the final one. It was a pretty clear thing. These don't have to be the final answers yet. It's just within the first five. Yeah, but it's not within the first five. Yeah, it's not within the first five. 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 It's not within if we don't listen to our own ground groups, they're all talking. We said we'd discuss five topics at a time. But yeah, we start up that and well, nobody's had a chance to say anything. Uh, you can just say 15 minutes left. See, see before MDL, I was the one that was talking there, but it wasn't me that interrupted. It was you that interrupted, it wasn't me. That interrupted you talking? I was talking, I was talking to you. Because yeah. nobody else had been talking. I thought you were finished. I thought you were finished. I thought you were finished. You're wasting valuable time. Yeah. Come on. All I said was that the first five was, is the same. There's well done. It doesn't matter whether it's first, second, third, or fourth. The first five is the same as the last five. The last five. They're all within near enough the same. Right. Can we get them into a kind of rough order, and then we can discuss right. Right. Okay. 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 Final, points. final points later? Okay. So yeah? you take it, say, like the first five. Yeah. Got a rough order. All days. Back over with the third. Well, we're getting a closer order this way. No? What do you do? That's what we're doing. Why don't you put up the first five items and then we'll have to agree on them? So you've got the mirror as one of them. Yes? Yes. Can yeah. I suggest we're appointed a chairperson and conduct this through the chairperson and order to get this done?
So, roughly, <coughs> roughly we've got parachute water and mirror. Uh, four, actually I should have done that. Four of Four of the salt tablets and five of the sunglasses. Is there any let's get in from back to from sunglasses? Is this a good mechanism? Let's just water. Right, parachute of water. Do so. Right, anyway. Has anyone got any comments about the advantages of the parachute? I wouldn't have either of them. No? I wouldn't either as number one. Um, I would because you're going to be protected right away for the sun. It's coming up to midday sun and it's going to be the hottest it's, uh, it's during the day and you're going to need to protect yourself. Because you've only got short sleeves, shirts and... Yes? I'm going to ask Michael. Michael made a comment. No one's taken out. Why wouldn't you have either of them, Michael? Because I, would, I personally would have the mirror as my means of communication that I could attract attention. Yeah. Like my, my main priority would be to attract somebody to come and rescue me. That was my logic as well. Shh. Pardon? You don't need the mirror. Why? You've actually got the glass for the plane and it's crashed. Probably shattered, but it's lying about. You can use that to attract the attention. Fair point. The parachute itself, used for protection and a signal. Uh huh. Yeah. Because of the colours. Right. I think I think we could argue each each, each point. Yes, Tommy. I don't think that's really important because the first five you're going to need pretty soon anyway, and we've all we've got your first five and your first five is. Okay, it's slightly different, but they're still within the first time. I know what you're saying, but the, the, the goal is to prioritize well, them in ranking well, order. What so, what do you want to is <laughs> six to nine. Six to nine are the ones. They're the ones that are the ones that are different. Uh, we need a, a, a good method. Stopping in the middle is... Yeah, you need that last word. Yeah. Can we, uh, can we try one between... Yeah. Parachute and water. That was a consensus through point and uh, point system all the way. Okay, so can we vote uh, for the parachute being number one? Six. Water. Two. Right. So parachute is number one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You two didn't vote. I'm, I'm prepared to go with the majority, no, although, I don't, although I don't agree with it, I would be prepared to go with the majority. Right. Uh, they're abstaining, so that doesn't... No, they're not abstaining, because there's still another option. <laughs> yeah, but there's only two of us yeah, that I agree at that way, so you've got to accept the majority yeah. decision unless... But otherwise, we're going to come to a complete impasse right. and get no... Yes. Why was second? Or should we say, no, what it was saying, wasn't it? No, no. Oh. Yeah, quite clear that there is some reason. Four. Salt tablets. Glasses. Six is the compass. Is that the compass? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Katrina. Yes, Andy. 
satisfied that we're staying, is that correct? I think that was agreed, it was the consensus of opinion. Well, why are we using sunglasses for number five? On the same basis, on the same basis as, the, as before, that it was the mathematical equation that, that it was arrived by. Yes. We accepted that consensus. Yeah. If we are staying, why are we keeping the compass at number six? Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> sometimes somebody's maybe wanting to go away for a walk to stretch their legs or whatever, just take the compass so that they know where they're coming back to. Yes. Can we get can we address the list first and then perhaps argue the points after? If there's anything really sticking out. Yes. Yes. That's been totally inflexible. <laughs> <laughs> the group agreed that. Have we made an agreement? Yes. Yes. Cheryl. We took a vote on it and we vote was Stephen Moore. I don't know why we brought that back in. Well, that's why I'm saying, can we please stick to the point? We're doing a list at the moment. If there's anything sticking out, then we can address that problem. You've only got five minutes, right? Yes, Graham. I, 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 mean, I take Michael's side entirely here, yes, that we're not looking at the thing from a logical point of view because if we're staying, we don't need the flame and comfort. Again, can I suggest to you that we address the the goal after it's all down in black and white, we okay. can then address anything that's sticking out like a sore thumb. Right. I agree then. Uh, okay. three, three ones in the same points of Flash, knife, and vodka. Uh, any particular preference out of those three? It's just a like vote. A vote. Oh. Right. Uh, well, you can't vote. Between uh, three. Any? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. The flash. I was just going to say, you just start with the top one and say flash, how many think yeah. flash should be number seven, how many think nine to number eight, or whatever. That, that thing to get. Mm -hmm. Everyone agree with that? Yes. 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 Everyone, Michael? I said yes. I said yes. I was responding to his question. I was responding to it. Flash, who's for the flashlight? Number seven. Uh, yes, I'm number seven. Yeah. One, two, three. Who's for the night? Who's number number seven? Nine. Six. Vodka. Yes, he did. Voted for the nine. That's the nine number. Hmm? Sounds like you'll cut the rest. We could choose the blood instead. Oh, you'll be one today. What was the flash? I said Harry. Flash of knife for the next priority. Well, you've got right, you've got you. Flash, the flash was three. So flash was three, and then the, the vodka was none. Sorry, that's it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, you might get six for the vodka, the vodka. Ah, it's a vodka, the one. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a uh, between the flash and the vodka? Yeah. Yeah. For the flash. Yeah. Status quo. He's not written them down on this side. Coat. Compress kit. The revolver. The rain coat.
The revolver, the raincoat, and then the book. Okay. Okay, considering we're leaving, is there, uh, sorry, considering we're staying, <laughs> is there any obvious uh, contentious points? Yes, Andy. For staying wiser, compass before the night. Everyone want to move the compass out of its position. Sorry. I want to. I want to move the ring. Well, can you guys <laughs> <and> change <laughs> the compass? <laughs> <laughs> let's let's address the first one before we go into a second. Okay. 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 What else would you use it for? It could start a fire, as well as attracting attention. Oh, sorry, I'm thinking of the mother. I beg your pardon. Uh, so, <laughs> where would I put it then? Next, Next to the map. Next to the map. Next to the map. <laughs> <laughs> Next to the map. <laughs> Next to the book. In the, map. the book. Is it, is it better, uh, more use than the book? The book? Slightly more use than the book. Slightly more use than the book. There's no, no animals in that. What's that? Yeah, What's that? Edible. Edible. Oh, I see them. And Edible. Yes. But the book can see what the book was entitled. Graham, please. <laughs> the book could be used for not written lighting fires at night. Okay. That's what the dolls was for. Does yeah. everyone agree then that compass is less used than the, the book? Yep. Yeah. Anybody disagree? Depends on. Too late. <laughs> Yes, Tommy. Well, I was just going to say, I disagree. The book you would burn in one five minutes. Or the compass do? You're, you're after two days, you're running out of air, so you're going to move there, you're not, you're not rescued. <laughs> That's a negative of you have to have to have You've got a book that tells you about the edible animals of the desert. Now, Graham, you don't want it to come in, can you? I mean, I've done it a couple of minutes. I've done it a couple of minutes. I'm totally and utterly frustrated. Well, feel free to feel, feel free and view the fact that we've only got two minutes to go. Feel free to vent your frustration. The raincoat should be up near the top. Right. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. One minute. One minute. The raincoat should be up near the top. It serves two functions. Two functions. Let's look at all the things that serve two functions. The parachute, the raincoat. What does the raincoat do? Shelters you from the sun. I don't like being laughed at, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and it also will catch any moisture that there is at night. Let me finish, please. That's all right, I've said my piece. Right, it's 110 degrees, it's a plastic raincoat, it'll melt during the day. No, it's not, it's underneath the parachute. <laughs> <laughs> Too shame. <laughs> catch the moisture for him. Well, we suggested that you cast, catch the moisture instead of saving water. <laughs> Sorry, but the court we've already come to its position. So uh, presenting uh, I think that's against the the guidelines of the uh, uh, process. Because it's just the guidelines Yes. I would just say it's no different for the compass. If you're going to move the compass, then you can equally move the raincoat. There's an argument for it. Okay. Does, does anyone want to move yes. the raincoat? Katrina. 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 Does anyone know the size of a parachute? Bearing in mind that the sun is directly overhead. This is quite serious now. A parachute's quite big. Right. Yeah. Are we all going to get underneath it now? Chances yeah. are no. 
That's that. Yeah. He was standing there. I don't think about that. You put it on with the frame of the aeroplane. Yes, but it depends on the size of the frame of the aeroplane as well. Remember? Does this really matter at this <laughs> I think it does. I think it does. As I said to my group, they weren't going to take sunglasses. They were going to be blind, they were going to be burnt. They weren't going to take the coat. So they were in very short of time. We've already run out of time. Does anyone want to move it? Move the plastic market away? No. Anything else? The is in the wrong place. The whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't tell us how many bullet, bullet, bullets they had with the revolver. So it was still in the Just shoot us all. <laughs> 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 Anything else? Yeah, if you're taking the compass out, you've got to take the map out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does anyone want to move the map? I would agree with I that. Would that. Move the map. Yeah, I would move the map. Good idea. As in, in what? Yes. 14. 14, 15, does it matter? Well, what's, what's the best? Compass on the map? <laughs> 14. 14. 14. I can change that. I Yeah, the map's more use in the compass because it's hard to navigate with the stars. You can burn it with a bit because you're not going to be able to it's a desperate to burn the book. It's edible animals, okay? Yeah, yeah, it's bad. So, uh, Matt, it's more just in the compass. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> can we address this problem and let's reach the goal, please? Okay. Thank you. We haven't timing. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? I've got I mean, I, I still. <laughs> <laughs> I want the ring cut <laughs> Yeah, I'm not very good. How much food have we got amongst all that? And we've got a book telling us there's edible animals of the day. You haven't a stop of food. Not a stop of food. How long do you think you're going to last for? No time at all. Cheerio. I'm getting the book with me anyway. Don't you melt it? Yes. Do you know what you're going to do? Do you don't need to have an animal, you have water. We've got the water at number two, I'm not disagreeing with that. So why, why simply write it at the bottom? We've got compass for that, but a map we can't use. Suggesting you change the book and put it in the position of the compass. I think it goes up somewhere in the book, where the compass is right now. But that doesn't follow the logical sequence we had agreed earlier. To come, you know, the logical sequence we agreed to come to the logical The placing of the is depends whether we stay or go. Well, we've agreed we're going to stay. Yeah. So, suppose we're back there for three or four days, you're not going to eat. And no, you're not going to You're going to eat if there's, there's a book telling you edible animals. Yeah. Good books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, please. Well, please. The book doesn't last. And also, you can conserve your ring by moving the plastic ring coat up and using it overnight. You can catch dew. I know. So the ring coat has to be, it should be away down the bottom either. But then I don't know. Do you want to rewrite the rules? Is that what you're telling us? I don't want to rewrite any rules. I think if we go on like this, we're never going to come to a conclusion mm -hmm. anyway. Mm -hmm. And if we had another meeting to go to, we'd be totally out of kilter for the rest of the day yeah. and probably wouldn't get any dinner tonight. So can we agree to disagree and close this meeting? Yes. 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 Thank, Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. This is all the garbage. <laughs> That would have been totally <laughs> aggressive and dismissive. Oh, <laughs> 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 thank God we didn't fly to that. <laughs> 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 right, this, uh, this is a reaction from an individual thing. Uh, just, uh, just, just capture it. We're also getting to the various questions at the moment, and we'll come back to that a bit later. Sorry, I'm not going to do it.
politics of your participation. Sorry, maybe I'm misunderstanding. Have you to put your own personal score or just cheese one, five? No, no, anywhere on the scale. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, so if I felt that I've performed there, that's what I Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. That's what I thought to a group of survival experts okay, who used to uh, rescue people from desert situations. And what I'm going to read out is their expert ranking. So please don't argue with me, all right? This is an <laughs> expert <laughs> ranking, all right? And then we're going to do some scoring to see how uh, you as an individual, you as a small group, you as a big group compared to, this, to the, uh, the expert ranking. So the, uh, the thing that they think is most important uh, on the list is, uh, is the mirror. Yes. Okay. The, I should say that the entire logic between the, behind this list is based on staying with the plane. Okay. So all the uh, advice on these situations is don't leave the crash site because if you do, the chances of going anywhere like 70 miles in the right direction in the desert, you'd be dead like within 30 seconds or something. So. Uh, Yes. So cosmetic mirror, of all, of all the items the mirror is absolutely critical, it's the most powerful tool you have for communicating your presence. In sunlight, a simple mirror can generate 5 to 7 million candle power of light. The reflected sunbeam can even be seen beyond the horizon. If you had no other items, you'd still have a better than 80% chance of being spotted and picked up within the first 24 hours. The second item on the list is the top coat. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> this is not a plastic mag, this is the top coat, all right. I'm going to have them together, all right. So once you have a communication system to tell people where you are, where you are, the next problem is to slow down dehydration. 40% of the body moisture is lost through dehydration. That is lost through dehydration is lost through respiration and perspiration. So moisture lost through <coughs> respiration can be cut significantly by A, staying calm, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, secondly, um, by stopping the dry, hot, hot dry air from circulating next to the skin. 
Um, the top coat, ironic as it may seem, uh, is the best available means for doing this. Without the top coat, survival time would be cut by at least a day. Okay. The next one on the list is water. Okay, you can probably survive three days with just the first two items. Although a quart of water would not significantly extend the survival time, it would help to hold off the effects of dehydration. Uh, it's best to drink the water as you become thirsty so that you can remain as clear-headed as possible during the first day when important decisions have to be made and a shelter erected. Once dehydration begins, it would be impossible to reverse it with the amount of water available. Therefore, rationing it would do no good at all. Number four is the flashlight. Uh, the only quick reliable night signaling device is the flashlight. With it and the mirror you have a 24 hour signaling capability. It is also a multiple use item during the day. The reflector and lens could be used as a signal device uh, or for starting a fire. The battery container could be used for digging or as a water container in the distillation process and it says in brackets C flashlight raincoat. I'll put that in a minute. <laughs> Which do you like? <laughs> Okay, the next item on the list is the parachute. The parachute can serve as both a shelter and signalling device. A uh, cactus could serve as a tent pole and the parachute shrouds as tent ropes. Double or triple folding the parachute would give shade dark enough to reduce the temperature underneath by as much as 20%. The next item is a jackknife. Uh, in recent years, sorry, although not as crucial as the first five items, the jackknife would be useful for rigging the shelter and for cutting it the very tough barrel cactus. Its innumerable other uses gives it a high ranking. I'd like you to point the camera at Graham as I announce the next point, uh, item on the list. Sorry. <laughs> the plastic raincoat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, in recent years, the development of plastic non-porous materials has made it possible to build a solar still. By digging a hole and placing the raincoat over it, the temperature differential would extract some moisture from urine-soaked sand and pieces of bile cactus and produce condensation on the underside of the plastic. By placing a small stone in the centre of the plastic, a cone shape can be formed and cause moisture to drip down into the flashlight container. Up to a quarter of uh, water a day could be obtained in this way. Uh, the next item is the... Uh, I must say, I didn't have that right, because I, I was going to have the thing above to try and catch the moisture and okay. the think of it in the sand. Uh, next item array is the pistol. Uh, by the end of the second day, speech would be seriously impaired and you may be unable to walk. Uh, the pistol would then be useful as a sound signalling device and the, and the bullet as a quick fire starter. The international distress signal is three shots in rapid succession. There have been numerous cases of survivors going undetected because they couldn't make any loud sounds. The butt of the pistol <coughs> might also be used as a hammer. The uh, pistol's advantages are counterbalanced by its very dangerous disadvantages. Impatience, irritability and irrationality <laughs> will all occur as dehydration <laughs> increases. <laughs> Sometimes within 45 minutes of crashing. <laughs> um, <coughs> this is why critical decisions should be made before dehydration sets in. Under the circumstances, the capability of so lethal a tool constitutes a real danger to the team. Uh, assuming it will not be used against humans, it might be used for hunting, which would be a complete waste of time. Uh, even if someone were able to shoot an animal with it, which is very unlikely, eating the meat would increase dehydration enormously as the body uses its water to process food. Number nine is the sunglasses. Um, in the intense sunlight of the desert, um, solar retinitis like um, snow blindness would, ser uh, uh, would be a serious problem, especially on the second day. However, the dark shade of the parachute shelter would reduce the problem, as would darkening the area around the eyes with soot from the wreckage. Using a handkerchief or compressed material uh, as a veil with eye slits cut into it would eliminate the vision problem, but sunglasses would make things more comfortable. I got this image of us all sitting around outside a crashed airline <laughs> with black in your eyes and a kind of handkerchief on your head. People were just like, oh, I'll leave them there. <laughs> Don't worry at all. Okay, number one, number 10 is the compressed kit. 
Because of the desert's low humidity, it is considered one of the healthiest, i.e. least infectious places in the world. Due to the fact that blood thickens with dehydration, there is little danger from bleeding unless a vein is severed. Uh, in one well documented case, a man lost, uh, lost and without water, who had torn off all his clothes and fallen among sharp cacti and rocks until his body was covered with cuts, didn't bleed until he was rescued and given water. Okay, I've got any music, Tom and Jerry, you know, drinking water and it's kind of <laughs> like a joke. The kit materials might be used uh, as rope um, or, or for wrapping your legs, ankles and head it's, um, as further protection against uh, sunlight. Number 11 is the, is, uh, the compass. <coughs> Aside from the possibility of using its reflective surface, surfaces as an auxiliary signaling device, the compass is of little use. It could even be dangerous to have around once the effects of dehydration take hold and might give somebody the idea of walking out. Number 12 is the map. Uh, it might be helpful for starting a fire or for toilet paper. Uh, one man might use it for a head cover or eye shade. It might have entertainment value, but again it's useless because it might encourage people to walk off. The next thing is the book. Um, the problem confronting the group is dehydration, not starvation. Any energy used in hunting would be costly in terms of water loss. Desert animals, while plentiful, are seldom seen. They survive by laying low, as should the survivors. 14 is the vodka. Uh, when severe alcoholism kills someone, they usually die of dehydration. That's just a word of warning for this evening, I think. <laughs> alcohol absorbs water. The body loses an enormous amount of water trying to throw off the alcohol. They estimate a loss of two or three ounces of water per ounce of alcohol. Uh, so vodka it, consumed in this situation could be lethal. Um, it, the, the vodka could be helpful for a fire or as a temporary coolant for the body, but otherwise it's pretty dangerous. And the final thing is the salt tablets. Widespread myths about salt tablets exist. The first problem is that with dehydration and loss of water, uh, blood salinity increases, sweat contains less salt than other fluids. Uh, without, without lots of extra water, the salt tablets would require body water to get rid of the increased salinity. The effects would be like drinking seawater. Even the man who develops salt tablets now maintains that they are of questionable value, except in geographical areas where there are salt deficiencies. Okay, so we've got an expert ranking. What I want to do now is to do a bit of scoring. So uh, I want to calculate three lots of scores. Uh, the first one is uh, I'd like each to, to go back to your personal original list and work out an individual score. Then those who are quick through that, can you work out a, a, an overall score for your small group and whoever's fastest can then work out the full group score. You arrive at your score by comparing the priority order here with your score. So for example, if the mirror is number one here and you've got it as number three, the difference is two. So you take the figure two. Doesn't matter whether it's a plus or minus difference, just take two. And at the end of that, add all those figures up and that's the score you're looking for. Okay? Seventeen. 
when you work at Yale's, can you work at your small group school? I'm 72. 72, tell me, what's yours, Greg? 48. Second place? Mm -hmm. My group score is 64. That's his group. Same group. Uh, uh, 74. Okay. No, sorry, that's, that's the overall group score. The big group score. Your small group score and the experts, yeah. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Six two six seven six. Oh, I've done that wrong. Twelve. This is my good here. Which one? Which one have you done wrong? More than a six. The group. That's small group. Oh, no, Sorry. Huh? Sorry. Oh, I've got 58. Usually between the groups. 66. 66. Between yours and the group. Okay. Mine and the group was different. 66. So that's meant that. Uh, there are small groups. Score. Mm -hmm. Where you take? Where you take? <coughs> the group ranking versus your own. It's your first one. And then the group ranking versus your own. The expert ranking versus your own is the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the and then the expert yeah. ranking versus the small group, and then mm -hmm. the expert ranking versus the large group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that what we've got? Yeah. <coughs> so the star performers: Ian, Graham, Katrina, and the. I want to be in a crash with you. Well, I'm a bit debatable. <laughs> 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 because although it may be not be the best in sort of surviving, suggesting items and try ordering priority, maybe we'll tolerate them some of uh, them. Ah, that's maybe true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that might be true. Maybe the best 45 minutes of your life. Die happy. Die happy. That's it. <laughs> okay. I made a few notes uh, as, as we were. Let me just give you, and uh, I'll ask you to come in at the end do uh, just for your reaction too. But um, we started off about um, five to four, something like that. And um, you started off by uh, leaping pretty much straight into the task. So you were kind of looking to see if there was any agreement between the figures. Uh, fortunately, that only lasted a very short time, a couple of minutes. And then Michael said, hang on, we haven't got a structure, we haven't got a timekeeper. Um, um, then it, so he suggested that, then it kind of went away again because then there was some, some stuff around uh, why are we just trying to uh, uh, achieve consensus. So he then leapt back into the task and Ian started writing up the two lists. Um, then um, Graham did the first of many attempts to be like Henry Fonda. <laughs> he actually labelled it as such about just challenging the process. Then he came back again to uh, let's get some, uh, we need to uh, have a time plan, we need to have ground rules. Um, we need to have a clear structure and then Katrina, this was 3.58, Katrina got a rose up, all the ground rules up on the chart which she got down by um, Ian, then he would jump back into the task and Ian it started to explain about how he'd arrived at the, the different figures by adding the two together. Then uh, Graham suggested another process thing about why don't we just have three groups of three divided into high, medium and low or something in the list as a way of comparing them. Um, All right, then uh, uh, Tommy and Charles uh, asked another process question, which is around, you know, how did the two groups approach it? What was the kind of logic about that we went about? So Michael had explained how their group had gone, and Tommy explained how their group had gone. By this time, it was around uh, five past four, it was. Um, then there was a bit of a de debate about whether you should stay or whether you should go, but it wasn't really resolved. 
uh, and that continued 10 past 4, 5 minutes later Graham said are we staying or are we going and if I just jump down the order a bit at 4.25 which is 15 minutes after that okay which is 30 minutes into the exercise Andy said again did we agree on staying <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh, so 10 past 4 Graham are we staying or are we going um, then there was kind of mayhem for a while people were just kind of jumping about throwing ideas in uh, Michael said, let's stay on the point. Uh, somebody who I didn't notice, uh, didn't make a note of said, uh, if you want to speak, uh, sorry, no, let's have, there was a debate about uh, staying or going again, and there was, it was agreed that you should have a vote. So this must have been around 4.12 or something like that. There's still a lot of crosstalk at this point, and then somebody said, let's uh, put your hands up if you want to speak. No. Within a minute of agreeing that, there were at least five of you talking at once, okay. Then the most hilarious moment of the whole session for me was when Ian took that list off there and he threw it out now like a slide it. This is hilarious. Brilliant. Uh, then we got then we decided to have a voting system that's four twenty four something. Then and then uh, Andy said about are we staying, are we going? Uh, and then uh, towards the end the issue about the compass came up, you know, if we're staying, why do we need a compass? And, and Alice uh, came up with the most, am <laughs> most amazing justification for it. Somebody <laughs> wanted to go for a walk if we wanted to walk. At this point, Graham couldn't withhold his excitement about the raincoat any longer and just was leaping up with suggestions about it. Hilarious. Okay, um, so let me just ask you, um, before I get a couple of thoughts, <coughs> in terms of um, how well you work together, let's just try and capture some of those uh, things that you're pleased with. And just have a look at that, that little score sheet that you did at the end there, just as a reminder about how you are feeling. Right. So, things that went well, first of all, what would you say? The interaction at least is pretty good, but at the same time, yeah. <laughs> Uh, there was never any total aggression. There was no punches to learn. Total aggression. And total football. What else? I think, to be quite honest with you, in spite of all the anger, we worked well as a group. And I think that's an important point. Okay. Let's take the good point section. <coughs> Uh, eventually, after the first ten minutes, we did. Uh, yeah, we did get into a, a certain structure. Yeah, yeah a certain. Yeah, there was a process. Process. Yeah. And you did have roles. Well, we did achieve. What we mean, we got a, a list. Yeah. I completed the task. We did review uh, certain things uh, a few times. <laughs> Are we leaving? <laughs> Are we staying? <laughs> Are we leaving it? <laughs> Are we staying? <laughs> okay, anything else you're pleased with? Shaking Energy and enthusiasm. Everybody take part. Yeah. We had that one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's probably what I was Okay, what about the other side of the time then? Not so well. <coughs> it wasn't as structured as it could have been or should have been. So it could have been slightly more strange <coughs> than it was. I think you're mm -hmm. heading in the right direction, but a bit more effort into that. Yeah? I didn't expect it at that point. Didn't stick to it. Didn't stick to it. Didn't stick to it. Didn't stick to it. Broke it. Well, broke the game. Right left and centre. Yeah. Hello, everybody. 
did take part, certain individuals did dominate. Yep. Oh, you know that for me. <laughs> I was being very polite in the well, same image. I wasn't when I was speaking to you. Very sensitive. I could, when I was looking, I could hear people laughing. <laughs> what about on an individual basis? How did you feel? I mean, again, perhaps against the question, I just passed out there. Any sort of strong feelings about particular things coming out of that? There no, was aggression. No, that's just this. Sorry, David, do you mean the things which came through in our individual groups? Um, talking about you as an individual uh, joining in, in the group, how did you feel about your contribution, quality of the result? I felt I like did contribute nearly as much as I'd normally would have. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one, I've got one's all over the place here, except for <laughs> how much frustration did you feel? I'm completely frustrated. What were you on schools? What sort of do you have one? I had one, and how satisfied did you feel with the amount and quality of your participation in reaching a joint decision? Okay. And I marked one against that. How much committed did you, did you feel to your group, the decision your group made? I had one against that. I had five against in what extent did you participate in m m reaching the decision? And five for how much responsibility for making the decision would you feel? I debated between five and one, but there's quite a lot of it I agree with, and that's why I put it down the middle. Okay. How good was the decision your group made? And I didn't think it's awfully good. I had five. I mean, you get a good score, you get a good decision, so you get like, you get under 20, <coughs> you get a really brilliant, I mean, the, the perfect score is only zero. Uh, are these often a, a good reflection of how the teams work in terms of the scores? Because what you'll tend to find, if, you, if you've got a good process for sharing reasons, particularly why things are being picked, and obviously if you pick the right uh, stay, go decision initially, what you often find is that these figures get less and less so there'll be some high scores and low scores here. And then if there's good discussion in those groups, they tend to drop down a bit, which, you know, I mean, uh, this group in particular, okay, uh, with the exception of Graham, and I, I, think it, I think you said that you, you, you're actually explaining the reasons quite a lot in that group, whereas this group, I think, there's more of a kind of mathematical approach to it than uh, probably shows itself in, in, the, in the score improvement. The good thing is we're still heading in the right direction. Yeah. 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 Okay, any other points? Uh, any other points? I wish I'd explain the meaning more properly before the went. Okay. I think you had a good stab at it. I mean, I, th I think um, good player goals, uh, particularly good attempt at the ground rules, need a bit more discipline around that really. Um, I think uh, once you've arrived at a goal like we're going to stay, probably a good idea to write it up. Anything that you've agreed on, it's a good idea to capture on charts so that people can, people can see it. So I think that, that there are lots of elements of the meeting process. I don't feel much tighter in terms of we've got 45 minutes, how are we going to break that up, uh, where do we want to be at certain times, and just in control of that. And when people step out of if they're interrupting or I'll put the hands up, you need more discipline. There was, there was one thing that just struck me right now, which is we really didn't use Alice, and Alice didn't use us as a group. And I feel perhaps Alice said, it doesn't matter, it's not a flight from an Alice, it doesn't matter. Anybody sitting here, once you moved around, it was a lot easier to think through. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. That's really an observation rather than anything else. Yeah. And I feel that Ian was a frustrated chairman. It might have been better to have the person on the board there as chairman, rather than have a dual role. It's kind of a role conflict mm -hmm. yeah. about it. Because there's, you know, they're both then, like, you're going, Ian's doing one thing, I was, was doing another, and there was a conflict of roles there. That's a something, isn't it? Because I was, I was, I was trying to be chairman. Yeah. 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 It's kind of difficult when everyone shouted at once, mind you, and I don't blame either of you for that. <laughs> Okay, just, uh, let me just, um, it really worked out, uh, there is, I've got this challenge for my ability to draw neatly on the clip, so I'm just going to reinforce that message. Yeah.
I want you to imagine that, that that is the sea that came to the ship. There's a road going from the ship down to the ocean floor. I'm a bit of a deep sea diver. Okay, he's got a harpoon gun, usual kind of boxer tricks. He's got an air tank on his back. Some rocks over here. Um, here's some fish. Just here. Very Okay, that's a stage left, the shark. So if that's, if that's you, okay, whatever, uh, what are some things you might do? Don't get hands and knees, not me. Climb up the rope. Climb up the rope to let them know you're coming up. You want to? Pull on the rope, yeah. Yes. Did not move at all. Stay still. Try and climb into the rocks. Try and hide. Okay, hide behind the rocks, am I? Yeah. What else want you to do? Stick your box and tricks down his throat. Just give it a half pin. Okay, she into your mouth. Uh, <laughs> 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 Look, your spit's in the cup. Shoot the shark. Anything else? Kill some of the fish. Okay, so shoot some of the fish, maybe. Yeah. How many harpoons have you got? Cut the rope. Just got one. Another dark. So did that cut the rope? Just crouch down like. See a nice fish in the water. Just crouch down like it's some Why are you shooting the shark? Well, I don't know. It's got a hat. No, why not? You know, why? Is it like it's you? It's got a hat. Yeah. Yes, but... Shoot it. Sure. It's not like asking for suggestion. Right, okay. okay. So what, um... Mm. So how do you decide what to do? Well, uh, actually, I'm like, they may just yeah. run by. Good. That's so, the point. based on what the, the shark does. Anything else? Well, if I tell you that uh, the reason is there is to uh, the photograph sharks, what does that do to your, uh, your choices? I don't like to pray, do you know, on purpose? You wouldn't shoot the shark unless you're pushing the dead ones. Okay. Yeah. You don't like to go on the rope. You don't like to shoot the fish. You don't like to shoot the fish. You wouldn't go behind the ropes. You're not cutting the rope. Mate, I just don't go behind the rope. So that would, look, that would bring you down your alternative down to maybe three of them instead of seven of them. But surely, would have, if he was going to photograph sharks, he would have been down with a cage on. Okay, well, let's say he's a brave diver, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I told you that you're a butterfly. <laughs> well, I'm telling you now, right? Okay. <laughs> okay let, let's imagine that he's um, he said to me when I was about 23. You know, you get you, you land on one topic and then you kind of flutter up onto the next one. I'm really guilty of it. Okay. If you try to, if you're in a situation where you're trying to make a decision, it seems to me that a good uh, a good place to start is what am I trying to achieve here? You know, if, you, if you're away from this with nothing else, the one thing I suggest to everybody is just asking that question regularly. So I'm sure a lot of the things we waste time on half the time we'd stop, we just say, what are we actually trying to achieve here? It just cuts out loads of rubbish. From that then, you've got some alternatives. Okay, so if it's in the deep sea diving scenario, it's like, you know, shall I shoot the shark, shall I shoot the fish? I compare some of those alternatives against them all. If it's the um, if it's the desert survival thing, you've got a choice of going and stay and stay until the night's time to go. And again, you compare that against what you're trying to achieve here, and that's around survival, obviously. So what am I trying to achieve? What are the alternatives? Compare the alternatives against what you're trying to achieve. And then 
If the Senate narrows it down to a choice of two, let's say motion. Another good thing to know, if there's no obvious choice between the two, a good thing to think about is what are the negative consequences of picking each one? So there are any sort of potential things that might go wrong. So if you take the deep sea diving, let's imagine that you said uh, you narrowed it down to two, which was um, uh, shooting the shark and uh, pulling on the rope. Let's say those are two things that you went for. Okay. What are the what are the negative consequences of, of say trying to shoot the shark? Could miss. You could miss. Okay. What do you know about harpoon guns? Because if it doesn't. How many bullets has it got? One. Right. So you shoot the shark, you miss it. Okay. What you've now got is an angry shark and no protection. Mm -hmm. So you can think that kind of this isn't through about what might go wrong here. And then that might narrow, narrow it down to one choice. Now, you can say that in lots of different situations, okay? You know, if you're buying a car, what am I trying to achieve in the car? Let's say, you know, I've got five sons. Uh, I've got a car around with me. That immediately puts some sort of criteria on the choices that I'm going to go for. And then from that, you map out, you know, I go for a Volvo Estate or minibus or a <laughs> sports car or whatever, and some of those would fit, some of those wouldn't, and there might be some negative consequences. Say, for example, there was a, you know, a Korean car, and uh, one of the negative consequences of that might be how it gets spent parts, for example. Okay, so you can do that as a kind of decision-making process and we work it through in lots of different situations. Now, I think one of the really advantageous things to do if you're in a team situation, is to have an agreed process on decision making, to have an agreed process on problem solving, so that when the team are trying to agree something, you have something like a five step process that you've trained everybody to use, so they just click into it straight away. It's like a highway code for making <coughs> decisions. So instead of the scenario that we had today, where what half of the people say a good way of making decisions here is by writing out the numbers and averaging them. And what half of you are saying, well, what are we trying to achieve here? Let's understand the logic behind it. You've got something that's a process that works regularly and it becomes like a shorthand for working together. And if you can get that in a team situation, a work team, uh, what you tend to find is that there's a lot more harmony because people are working through the process and the discipline. Secondly, I think speed of decision making is much quicker because you get, you're used to doing it in a particular way. And I think also the chances of making quality decisions, even in situations like in the crazy desert one, right, as you haven't seen before, at least you've got some sort of a route map that you can, you can work through, even if you haven't seen this exact situation before. A lot of merit in having that. I think one of the, uh, we're talking about some, some sort of training modules, I think one of the things that would be really helpful at Shivers would be, and uh, you're talking about this week, some problem solving decision making process training. For everybody, I think that would be extremely helpful. It just really speeds some of these things up. But even if you just get as far as that, what am I trying to achieve? And Michael's point was a good one. If we're going to stay with a plane, why do we need a compass? Doesn't it no longer fits? It makes no sense against that particular thing that we said we're trying to achieve. And you can take that kind of logic to lots of different situations. It's an extremely effective uh, process to follow. So. I think it was a good effort, okay? You did a lot of the things right that, that we talked about before the session. Getting to do these things is more about practice, really, okay? Everybody is aware that you're breaking some of the ground rules. If we gave you another task now, you get better at it. And if it's a work team situation, you've got Michael coming in, new team leader, you people work together on a regular basis. If you do a short review after each time, and you've got this kind of idea of continuous improvement, you just get better and better at those sort of processes. I'll tell you two stories just to finish off with and I'll come to you directly because then we're going to say just to close up on it. I was dealing with a bunch of guys from an engineering company. I haven't run that exercise for ages. I, only, I was only reminded of it when you were saying this week. And uh, there's one guy who's really, uh, he was really passionate about the, um, the mirror. He was desperately trying to uh, persuade the group to take the mirror and he'd said he could use it during the day as a, a kind of um, uh, reflective uh, um, signaling device and he said he, he's so rapid he said and at night somebody said well what could you use it for at night he said at night time he said he said you can hold it in your hand like this and you can shine the torch onto it and use it as a signaling device that can be somebody said you can just turn the torch on he went oh yeah <laughs> and the same guy later on was arguing for the top coat not the plastic one but the, the sort of material one 
and he said, uh, what you what you should do is uh, you should wear it uh, to keep you warm uh, at night and uh, to keep you cool during the day. And uh, so somebody said, how the hell could a top coat keep you cool during the day? And he said, what you could do is, uh, for example, um, you know, Ian could uh, sit down in his top coat and the rest of us could pee on it. <laughs> And he was like really serious, you know. And I was like, oh, no, you can't be serious. I just couldn't stop laughing, you know. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. But uh, people get kind of overworked up and, you know, if you want to go for a walk up into the desert, you can take the cook and sit down. Okay. All right. Any comments, Derek? Final comments? That was good. That's good. I've got mine by Good process. Okay, uh, it's 20 past three. I can take a quick man before we get into aggression. <coughs> Grey and possibly wild and possibly tin, I'm coming at 10.30. So the idea is on 8.30, we'll meet at 8.30 and we'll uh, take care about what we'd like you to do individually, spend some time identifying, okay, reflect on this week, what's the potential benefits to shivers that you can see applying the learning from this week and think about your own work scenario what are the potential benefits to you personally in your work scenario to apply this sort of learning and probably three or four points of each of those types there right and what commitments are you making to begin doing something different on monday from from the learning you've had here and write those up on flip charts so we'll have a couple of flip charts on benefits to shivers Couple of charts of potential benefits to self. Couple of charts on commitments to do something different. To you write it up and put your rushes against it. Should take no more than eight thirty, ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Talk about uh, what else we do with Graham. And when you arrive at ten thirty, talk to him a bit about the week, and then he normally wants to talk through those potential benefits. So you can understand what you're saying. Um, so it, what you normally just walk down them and, and ask questions. You know, what do you mean by that? Graham, what do you mean by that? Uh, I know it takes about an hour. And then the, you know you have a little conversation around. So what's next, perhaps? Um, and Sterling was talking about what, what leadership is. Recognizing is a difference, a growing gap between the skills of people going on courses like this at Sterling and leadership haven't been. So I'd like you to, to close that gap. You might mention that, I don't know. I've really got no contract with him. Or what he's going to do. At this minute, I don't even know who's praying. I talked to him Monday, clarified Eric wasn't coming, clarified Graham was, responded to his request for it to be 10.30. <coughs> rather than 11 or 11.30, which it normally is. Um, he said, I'm going to try and get Mark to come. <coughs> and I'm talking to him, and he says, I'm going to try and get him to come up and get a bit of work. So we'll, we'll just find out who turns out in the morning and respond to that. But the probability is, if we start at 10.30, we we'll essentially finish by 12. There'll be a buffy lunch outside. You don't have choices where we have a buffy lunch and then disappear. Or disappear. So the bus, who's, who's potentially going to organize on the bus? The bus. Who's organizing the bus? Oh, sorry, I thought you said who's going to the bus. Oh, yeah. I thought you said who's going to the bus. I mean, the opportunity is to influence the bus to come. Um, one o'clock? You said I wouldn't be here before one thirty. We come at five, I think. Oh, he's happy with that. He's quite prepared to wait, by the way, and he didn't say that. Okay, but I mean, if you say at one thirty, you might well be finished at twelve thirty, so you're waiting an hour. So if you want to influence to be here earlier or later, just just make phone call. Is there any time that we have to go out the room at five? Do we have to go out by eleven, or do we allow it to go up later, or do we have to <coughs> check out in the morning? It's desirable if you can be out of your room first thing. Mm -hmm. Even if you have, even, you know, if you get all your bags packed, mm -hmm. and then uh, even if, you have, if the reception's busy, check out, you know, at uh, quarter past ten, and someone will take a break. Mm -hmm. um, just gives them a chance to get in. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Fix the work on <coughs> flip charts and then make that out of your room. Mm -hmm. Clear on that? Mm -hmm. Clear on that? Yeah. <coughs>